Okay, so it's about time that I did an updated video on how to install mods. Uh, a few things I want to know first. Mobile mods. Mobile mods are probably one of the most requested things, but unfortunately I cannot release mobile mods as the method you use to install mobile mods could be used to pirate the game. So me distributing the mods would essentially just be me giving away illegal copies of the game. So I can't make mods for mobile. Sorry about that. Uh, secondly, your game version. Uh, first of all, if you have pirated the game, you might have an old version of the game, so you might be out of luck. We don't make every new mod for all the versions of the game, we always make it for the newest version. So it's best if you just buy the game on Steam, then you have access to all the versions. First up, this was misinterpreted in my old tutorial, where people thought you always had to change your game version. Most of the time you don't. You just keep it on the latest version and you're good to go, so you can probably skip this part. But if you're ever installing an old mod and you do need to change your version, you go to your game properties, you go to betas, and then you type in the code naked man in a pot. Boom. And you now have unlocked all the old versions of the game and the curtain. Another thing some people don't realize how to switch back because it doesn't list 1.7 in here. You just click none and it'll switch back to the latest version. Click play and it'll update your game. Second, if you ever break your game while installing a mod, if you're worried about that, it's fine. Again, go to properties, local files. Click verify integrity of game files. It'll replace any files that have been edited and your game will work just like new. Okay, so first I'm going to show you how to install the mod pack. The mod pack has most of the mods you'll need. It has the, the in-game timer, the multiplayer mod, giant hammer rolling over it, etc. Most of the, the mods are already built in. You're going to want to join Angel's Discord. He's the one who developed the mod pack. This is how you're going to be sure you're getting the latest version and not an old link that someone might have just sent you. Once you join Angel's Discord, go on over to download. And in the download channel, you'll find all the downloads at the top here. And just, as you can see, there are some old versions that are supported here, but they're gonna be slightly out of date. They might be missing a lot of mods, but if you do have 1.59 or 599 or whatever, then at least you do have something to use. Uh, but generally, you're probably gonna be on the latest version, which currently is 1.7, and you're gonna download the top link. Okay, now when you download that, you're gonna get a zip folder. You can open that up. And a lot of people think when you have a zip folder, you need to have WinRAR, not true at all. Right click, open with, Windows Explorer. When it comes to zip folders, you're good. You don't need WinRAR or anything like that. Now that you have the mod pack downloaded, go back to your Steam, go to your game, properties, local files, and browse. Now this is where your game directory is by default. Steam app's common, getting over it, and then your files should look like this if you don't have any mods installed. Now we're gonna go back to the mod pack here, our zip folder, and just grab all these and copy it directly into there and just click replace if it doesn't say replace you might have copied it into the wrong spot so this is kind of like a verification you know you did it right replace boom there you go now you're actually done your mod pack is now installed you can launch the game from steam and you're good to go a couple things to note if you're ever like oh i don't want to run any mods at all you can always go here enable disable and just click disable mod pack it'll turn white if something is green, it means it's turned on. If it's white, it means it's turned off. But we're going to keep that on for now. This is also where you enable multiplayer. Right here, enable disable. You click multiplayer. It may tab you out of your game and launch up a console. That's fine. It's just a multiplayer client running in the background. After you've enabled multiplayer, start a new game. Press escape, and you should have a server browser button in the top left. And you should see any live servers in here, or you can connect to IP from here. Now, the main way you're going to access most of your mods is by pressing Control M, and then you'll get your mod menu here. Choose mods here. Choose predefined settings in here, like uh, Giant Hammers in predefined settings. A lot of other mods are in Choose Mods. You can enable more than one at a time. Again, as I said, if they're green, it means it's enabled. If it's white, it means it's disabled. I'll flash the rest of the controls for the mod pack on the screen now. Okay, now for custom levels and cosmetics and emotes, along with some other mods that might not be in the mod pack currently. I'll have a link to this in the description. This is the mod pack plus the level loader, including also a bunch of other mods such as the shotgun mod, the orange golf, cosmetics, emotes, a bunch of other cool stuff as well. Uh, this is all compiled by Nameless. It's important to note that you need to install the mod pack first before you install this because it has a lot of dependencies. If you install this, half of your stuff is not gonna work properly. So we're just gonna go to newest. You'll see mod pack plus level importer zip. File structure might change later, but it's probably still gonna be in the same spot. Also, I do suggest, especially if you downloaded a lot of things on Google Drive, clicking this button up here, changing it to list view. If there's a lot of files, it'll make it way cleaner for you to read. So we're just gonna right click that, download. Okay, now that we have the mod pack and level importer downloaded, as you can see, it's a zip file again. So we're just gonna open it with file explorer again. Now exact same thing back in your getting over it directory where we installed the mod pack. Just gonna copy these files. 
copy them in, replace, and there you go. Now you have the mod pack and the level loader, and you can install custom levels. If you want to install custom levels, I'll have the link to the video that shows you how to do that in the description. Sometimes people ask, can you install more than one mod at a time? Technically, yes, but you have to program it into one assembly as there is only one assembly C sharp file, which is where most of the stuff is programmed into. And you can only have one at a time. But this mod pack attachment by Nameless includes the most mods you can get in one. But generally, no, you can only have one pack or one individual mod installed at a time. One last thing, if you want all the cosmetics and emotes that I have, as well as some ones that other people have made, where you're going to put them is in mod pack mods and then as you see we have a cosmetics folder but i noticed we don't actually have the custom emotes folder in here so first you're just going to want to launch the game go into a new game go into the mod menu and navigate to this custom emotes mod turn it on and then now you might have to restart your game so just control r once or whatever and now if we tab out and go back you'll see we have also the custom emotes folder has been created I'll leave the links to both the cosmetics and the emotes folder in the description. So if you go to cosmetics, we have all our cosmetics in here. I'm just going to download one for an example. I'm going to download this one. It's worth noting some of these cosmetics have skins that go with them to pair with them. So I downloaded the crewmate cosmetic. I'm also going to download the Among Us skin. Now I'm going to go to the emotes folder. And I'm going to download the walk away emote. Okay, now we have an emote, a skin, and a cosmetic. Go back to our files here. So the cosmetic, we go to cosmetics. Take this crewmate.cosmetic file. We'll throw it in here. If your cosmetic comes with a skin, you can also put the skin in this skins folder. Looks like he already has that one built in. Normally what you do with the Dio skins is you go in your Dio customizer and you just throw them in here. We'll take that skin, throw it into Diogenes customizer. And finally we'll go back and we'll go to custom emotes. And we have our emote we downloaded and we'll put that in here as well. Alright, so we'll launch our game again, go to new game. Control M for our mod menu. Now I have custom emotes turned on and I'm going to select the walk away emote. I'm going to go to cosmetics, I'm going to turn it on, then we can go to the second option here and we're going to just select our crewmate. As you can see we are now super sussy. And then finally we'll go to Dio customizer, turn that on. There it is, Among Us skin. Boom, there we go. We got our cosmetic and, oh, and our emote. If you want to use your emote, press E. Amazing. Just fantastic. Anyway, I think that covers the bulk of it, and now you should have the most possible mods to have on one install of Getting Over It. Also, if you want to, uh, also if you ever want to have multiple different mods installed at the same time, you can always do what I do and have a hundred different installs of Getting Over It just by copying the folder and making another one. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope this helped. Please subscribe to this channel and my main channel, and leave a thumbs up. Bye.